Marketo has its own unique naming scheme and organization for building automated workflows. The top level is the program. The program is both an organizational unit and a grouping for reports. Underneath the program, or should I say inside the program, campaigns are the smallest unit of workflows. There can be multiple campaigns belonging to a program. These programs could be scheduled or triggered. Usually we group these together in a folder called campaigns just to make it easier to read. Also inside the program are assets. Assets can be things like emails and landing pages. They are also grouped together in a folder called assets. For example, in the Dyson campaign, the top level organizational unit will be a program. This is where it gets a bit confusing because usually in marketing to speak, the Dyson email would be a campaign, but in Marketo, it's actually a program. It would also have workflows underneath it. So for example, sending an email and sending a confirmation email are both workflows that sit under the campaigns directory. And then the assets, such as the promotional email or the registration landing page, fall under the assets directory. To create a program and a campaign, you need to be in the marketing activities tab. Find your folder, right click, and create a new program. Let's call it my first program and then add your name and we'll click create. Then find that program, right click and select new smart campaign. This will create a new campaign. Let's call it my first scheduled campaign. To create the automated workflow in the campaign, we'll firstly need to modify the smart list. The smart list is the segmentation that we're going to target. So in this particular case, we're going to target people that are a member of our test list. So we select the member of list. This is a filter and we're going to start typing and we'll find the test list we created before. So test list fact. Then in the flow, what I'm going to do is create the actions. So the actions I want is to send an email. So let's click the drop down and find an email that we've created previously. So let's select the internal test send related to us. And then the last step of the campaign is to schedule that. So if we wanted to simply run this at a particular time and date once, we would click run once. We could run it now, but because it's a scheduled campaign, we want to run it later. So perhaps we will run it in a few few days time at a certain time of the day, for example 9am. And then if we click save, then this would be scheduled to run. We could see when it's scheduled to run here. However, if we also want to schedule a reoccurrence, then what we could say is run it daily, weekly or monthly. In this case, let's select daily. We would select the first time it ran, so let's say Tuesday and a time, and then we would set the repetition pattern. So could it be every day or for example, every weekday? And then we would set an end date for the last reoccurrence. So we could set that, for example, in November, and then we'd click save. So now we have a reoccurring schedule for this particular campaign. And you'll notice now that this particular campaign has a small timer icon here. Now let's deactivate this campaign so it doesn't actually run. To do that, we simply click the crosses here and then we'll need to remove the scheduled reoccurrence by going to scheduled reoccurrence and then selecting none. That will remove all the schedules. So now you can see the timer is now gone and this campaign is not set to run at a particular time.